I'm a cowboy coder. Now, if you uh, are like me and have um, decided that uh, it's irresponsible to keep working that way, uh, then this video is for you. Uh, this is as quick and as easy as I can try to help other people get off of um, production changes and uh, be a little bit more responsible and uh, manage your changes through Git. So with that said, um, I am running a Mac, so I have chosen to use MAMP and uh, source tree to manage my Git repository and my local server. Now, uh, for you, you'll, for, you'll want to get both those pieces of software or, or those whatever you choose. Um, first thing you want to do is get the WordPress uh, repository into your local machine. So you could uh, import the standard Git repos uh, WordPress Git. You could um, do a bunch of different ways to get those files on your machine. Uh, problem is that once you decide that you want to deploy your um, your WordPress, you'll see that the way WordPress is structured, it doesn't really make it too easy to deploy it without having to make a lot of changes. So um, Mark Jakewith put together this WordPress skeleton that makes it uh, substantially easier to uh, deploy. So I'm going to use that for uh, my example here, and I suggest you do the same. So the easiest way for me to do that is I'm going to go ahead and clone his repository into my Bitbucket account, and uh, that should just take just a second here. Okay, once that's done, I also don't want to actually make changes to that. Uh, if, I, if I do, I want to be able to control that. So I'm going to go ahead and fork this uh, one here, and I'm going to call it, uh, let's call it uh, WP skill. I'll call it example, keep it private, fork. All right. Okay, great. So now I have a repository that's available to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh my accounts here, and I'll see that I have that repository available to me. Here is the Git uh, link, and I can place it wherever I want. I don't really want it there, so let's go ahead and put it in example. A little bit clearer. So I'm going to clone that from my remote repository. Now that's going to start downloading. The nice thing here is this is going to put in all the WordPress files and already pre-set up my system so it'll be easier for me to deploy later. You'll see in this WP folder that it's downloading now, um, this is going to have the latest stable release of WordPress. In the rest of this, you see it's a little bit different. My Some of my content is in this content folder instead of the WP content, uh, a few other things. While it's doing, I can go ahead and um, open my MAMP start page and pull into uh, PHP my admin because I need to create a database for my WordPress installation. So I'm going to call it example and let's go ahead to UTF-8 general. Oops, wrong one. Okay, example set up and then I can also see that from MAMP my username and password is root and root. So, looks like um, my repository is all set. I can, um, I can click on the master branch and I can see all the previous commits that have been done in this repository. So I'm going to actually set up a git flow on this, so this will make it a little bit easier for me to keep my um, my changes organized. And as soon as that's done, I'll have a develop branch that's already set up, and I can get to work right away on that. So the first thing I want to do is uh, connect this to my database. If you run your local host now, you'll have you'll see that the example folder is there. Uh, however, if I click that, it's just going to time out. It doesn't have connection to the database yet, so it's a little bit different from a standard WordPress startup. So I'm going to go into um, my system and see the WP config. And if you double click that, uh, 
you'll see it's a little bit different. It doesn't actually have the standard database connections the way uh, the typical wconfig has. It's looking for local config. Well, turns out, conveniently enough, there's local config sample. And that makes a lot more sense, All right? Here's where it's looking for uh, some information on connecting to the database. So I need to create a local config file. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to copy this information in and fill in the data. Okay, so I need to go to my example folder slash wp slash wp admin slash install dot php and that will get me to the uh, start of the install. Okay, so Okay, great. Installation done. Um, all right, so I'm here in develop and I can make some changes directly, but I first want to get a new theme. So I'm actually going to break that out into a feature and uh, say I wanted to hand this off to someone. Um, you can imagine having a much bigger task than simply uh, installing a theme you can break out these uh, additional features into uh, into separate branches. So now my roots branch, because I want to install the roots theme, uh, is set up here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Now I actually uh, really recommend the roots theme because it is uh, based on uh, Twitter's bootstrap framework. Uh, really, really nice framework if you're not familiar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I can add that as a sub-module since it's on uh, GitHub. So I'll just grab that from them and uh, I get to decide where I'm going to put that. So I will put that in the uh, folder here. Let that verify there. So you'll see now here in the sub-modules, the roots theme has been added. So that entire repository is pulled into my repository. And uh, the change has not been, I have not committed that change yet. I do want to change that, or commit that. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, roots sub-module. All right. Now, uh, let's go back to this develop branch. Um, I know that I want to get into the back end, but uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now, something odd's going to happen here. When I go to the themes, these uh, paths are wrong. So it looks like I need to do a little tweaking in my folder, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it's pulling, it needs to have the example folder in its path. So I just save that and Beautiful. Roots theme is in. Um, no more path problems. All right, great. So again, um, Git has detected that there are some uncommitted changes. Okay. So here's all my changes and. Um, Let's say I didn't uh, think about doing that quite yet, and I went ahead and said, you know, I want to um, 
So let's say I wanted to install the disable comments plugin because the WordPress comments are useless. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just to make sure, let's check out everything here. All right, now comments are gone. All right, so if I go back to WordPress, uh, we're going to see we have um, several different changes here that I've made since I've last committed to the repository. So I have the wconfig, and I have the roots. What I actually want to do is I want to um, create another uh, another feature branch for any plugins that I want to do. So let's start a new feature and we'll call it plugins. Still has those uncommitted changes, so if I want to commit those, I need to put them in the staging area. Okay, why can't I highlight? For some reason, I can't highlight today. Okay, so they're now staged, ready to be committed. I'm going to go ahead and commit and say disable comments plugin. Again, I'm in the, in the plugins uh, feature branch. All right, and let's say I just want to commit that, um, that config change to the master branch here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so again, I need to stage that. All right, now um, I know I'm done with this roots uh, here as well, so I'm going to go there. That's been installed just fine. You can see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm done with this feature. And I don't need to keep the branch open because I'm not going to keep developing on that theme. So uh, go ahead and delete that branch. And now you'll see the graph is updated to show the flow of my work here. Here's where we started. I updated the config path. I updated the roots submodule and then I merged the features branch into my development branch. Now you could use the branch merge tag features here. Git flow kind of simplifies it for you. Uh, makes it a little bit simpler. Okay, so if I want to merge my plugins, I'm probably going to do some more plugins, so maybe I will keep that one um, I'm going to keep that branch. Alright, great. So now I'm back to my develop branch. I see all the changes that have been made so far. So that's the quick and dirty on Git repositories for WordPress. The next step will be to take our repository uh, live, um, and I will have another video on that here soon.